Introduction. Have you ever wondered how we can store energy in the form of a magnetic field? That's where the inductor comes in, one of the most fascinating and essential components in electronics. Definition. An inductor is a passive, two-terminal electrical component that stores energy in its magnetic field when current flows through it. Unlike capacitors which store energy in an electric field, inductors rely on magnetism. Symbol and construction. An inductor is typically represented by a coil symbol. In reality, it's often made of a wire wound into a coil, usually around a core which can be air, iron, or ferrite. The material of the core greatly affects the inductor's properties. Working principle. When current passes through the coil, it creates a magnetic field around it. If the current changes, the inductor resists this change by inducing a voltage, according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. This property is called inductance, measured in Henry's H. Technical aspect. Inductance depends on the number of turns of the coil, the core material, and the cross-sectional area. The formula for inductance is L equals N squared times mu times A divided by L, where N is the number of turns, mu is the permeability of the core, A is the area, and L is the length of the coil. Applications. Inductors are everywhere in electronics, in transformers, radio tuning circuits, power supplies, filters, and even wireless charging systems. Advantages. They can store energy efficiently in a magnetic field useful for filtering and tuning signals. Disadvantages. Bulky compared to capacitors. Energy losses due to resistance and core material. Comparisons. While capacitors oppose changes in voltage, inductors oppose changes in current. Together, they form the backbone of AC circuit analysis. Conclusion. So, the inductor may look like just a simple coil of wire, but it plays a huge role in modern electronics, from power grids to tiny circuits inside your smartphone.